My brother was spreading over here earlier. Gotta do a half a pass. I don't overlap into that stuff, so I just gotta do it on this side now. Very interesting. Woo! Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to do it from the other side. <laughs> yes, we did make it up that hill. <laughs> Buttons on the left side for the booms? Yeah, it's right here. It's like your left boom and both of them, then you can turn your right one on on that side. But we're just doing the left side now because that's been spread over here. back down there and finish that one up or we didn't make it up the hill and then we're all done with this field that's awesome I could, I could show you how to like this how much you're, how many pounds you're putting on you go in here and put that set it in there and it automatically adjusts to it that's very cool the technology is Crazy. Yeah, it's nice. Not having to drive all day. Yes. <laughs> oh, do you have auto steer? Yes. So when you're in a really long field and on a long pass, you only engage that? Yeah, I engage it all every time. I, yeah, like in this field. Well, that is awesome. Yes, this field requires a lot of work to get through the hill. Yeah, no makes everything harder. Yes. <laughs> all right, we are done with this field now. Awesome. Everything's also so beautiful with snow on it. It looks like a winter wonderland. Yeah, it does. It's nice. Well, I don't know that I'd go that far. Well, it makes me want to go snowboarding. But... Oh, yes. <laughs> and Montana has some awesome ski hills. How many fertilizer spreaders do you usually have per field? Uh, usually two, unless we're on a smaller field and we spread them out. Like this part of the field my brother did earlier. to keep it full so you got more traction so you got that weight on there yes definitely that's a great point what part of the years are you busiest with fertilizing during springtime and it's the busiest part and then fall is busy too but i don't think it's as busy as the spring but it's everybody's busy seeding and spreading in the spring yes so yeah i gotta figure out where i'm going next so. Right now I'm doing 240 pounds an acre. 240 pounds an acre. What would you say is the average that you do usually? Hard to say. It really depends on the year and... Yeah, it depends on the year and what... And the farmer. And the farmer, yeah. Yes. Yeah, now we're going to do some end passes here and there. I'd say that's the worst part of fertilizer spread, is doing the end passes. The end passes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah, I usually do. 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 Yeah
typically do, yeah. Unless it's straight like this, then I can go in here and set an AB line. So just set my A and drive a little ways down here and then set the B. Then I can just, I gotta slow down and bust out of stair. Oh, with the yellow button, that's your GPS? Yeah, that kicks in your out of stair. That is very cool. Yeah, it is. It's that snow. <laughs> well, it's slick. Yes, we're definitely slipping. And when your spread this heavy, you want to keep your RPMs a little higher so you're so you don't get plugged up, you know, so the fan speed is higher. That's really interesting, I didn't know that. Yeah, if you let it come down too far, you get more of a chance of getting plugged up and then you gotta go out and deal with it in the cold. And well, that would not be very fun at all. My last video I did was about being 20 below in Montana and that's not even the coldest day we had. I think we had to go to 30 and even at night maybe 40 below. But yeah. now I think I think it's only around seven below right now. It's supposed to warm up, so that'll be exciting. Yeah. So it's kind of like when you have the drill and seating, you can get it plugged up, and that's not fun to go out and dig that out, even when it's warmer weather. Yeah, it's not much fun. All the fields kind of look the same with all the snow on them. Yeah, they do. It's kind of. Yeah. It's confusing, so you gotta be careful where you're spreading, and you gotta go slower. And <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. And I bet it's harder to tell where the coolies are and the dips that you want to watch out for and try to avoid. Yeah, for sure. coming out of your your tubes and everything. I usually check them. And it's very important to always be looking at everything when you're at these big pieces of machinery and making sure everything's running smoothly. Yeah, make sure you're not overheating or something breaking or a flat tire. Oh gosh, Anything everything. can go wrong. that little corner piece. Okay. Hopefully I'll have enough fertilizer. Oh, and that's very cool. The screen is all green because you fertilize that whole area. Yeah. What are the most helpful pieces of technology for fertilizing that you use? I uh, have a GPS, for sure. Yeah. That way you go straight and you don't 
not all over the place, you don't overlap too much, you have a bunch of skips. I'd say that's probably the best thing, for me anyway. I think for almost everyone that would be the best thing. I probably have. I know I've spread for your dad the last couple of years. So. But you do so many fields. Yeah. I don't even think I would ever remember. It's hard to remember what you did and what you didn't do. Yes. How long are the fertilizer booms? They are 70 feet. 70 feet? Wow. Yeah. Run out of fertilizer. Yes, there's no fertilizer here. Right there. So, I guess we gotta go fill up. Yes, now we have to go back and fill up with more fertilizer. How many semis of fertilizer does it take usually for one field? Just uh, well, it depends on how big your field is. True, very true. And how much you're putting on. So, I mean, with the semi we got now, we'll probably be able to do a couple fields, two fields probably. Awesome. Oh, and now the booms are folding back up slowly but surely. Yeah, they are slow. Oh, and here's the drone again. Yeah, there's the drone. Yeah, well then you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be important. Thank you so much for taking me for a ride in the fertilizer spreader. It was absolutely phenomenal and I learned so much. That's good. I hope you really enjoyed this video because it was so fun to make and I learned so much about fertilizer and everything really. It's absolutely crazy and I always talk about how you can see forever with all the farming fields. But really, now it's just snow forever. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome videos to learn how your food gets to your table. And also a huge thank you to Grind Fertilizer for being able to make this possible. Make sure to follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G. And on Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, and TikTok. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!